cohort 2022 all india bar examination yes what i posted on the screen can you anyone unmute and read what i posted on the screen Can anyone unmute and read what I posted on the screen? Yes. I could not hear the sound. I think there is a problem of internet. Okay. Are you hearing me at least? Now I stopped my video. Are you hearing me at least now? Yes. Could you see the screen? Say yes. 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 Sir, hearing. Yes, sir. Yes. Companies Act 2013. Professor Dr. Mahmoud S. Hussein. Okay. Now, let us, uh, without wasting the time, we'll go to our uh, multiple choice questions all india bar examinations it is the 17th cohort 2022 company law multiple choice questions now let us see the number one question the first question a foreign body corporate may open a lyon office in india within parenthesis which one is not related to the above statement number one to present the parent company public or virgil group companies in india number two to demote export virgil import from to india number three to promote technical virgil financial collaboration between the parent virgil group companies and companies in india are number four the number one and number two is correct means which one is not related to that Correct in the set, not related to the above statement. I show Second you. one, sir. I show. Nini, what, what is that? Say again. To demote export and import from to India. Export and import from India. Do you think that that is the right answer? For which one is not related to the above statement? The right answer is, I have shown the feedback also. I don't know why you could not make it out. The feedback is to represent the parent company, Virgil Group companies in India, to promote export Virgil import from Virgil to India. Then what I wrote in the number one, two option. There I present. To present. Actually, that is to represent the parent company, Virgil Group companies in India. In the second one, I wrote to demote, but actually it should be to promote export Virgil import from Virgil to India. Hence, the right answer is not the right answer is one and two, sir. Fourth one. Fourth one. One and two. That is the words. Second question. The Reserve Bank of India grants permission for a period of dash years, which is eligible for a renewal for a block of again the same years. Is it number one, option two, two, option three, three, option four, four, option five? Strike it, even though it is wrong, doesn't matter. Use my software, how I taught you, and logically, reasonably, you can make it out. Answer is three years. Number two option. Supplementary question. Here, the renewal for a block of again the same years means dash if i say again the same three years here three i removed i said same years but again the renewal is also from the three years it will be given 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन थर्ड क्वेश्चन फॉलोइंग आर द गवर्निंग लॉस ऑफ द कंपनी विच वन इज फॉल्स आई रिपीट फॉलोइंग आर द गवर्निंग लॉस फॉर द कंपनीज विद इन पैरेंथेसिस विच वन इज फॉल्स मींस थ्री आर राइट वन इज फॉल्स नंबर वन द कंपनीज एक्ट 2013 एंड रूल्स मेड देयर अंडर फॉर लिस्टेड कंपनीज सच एज द प्राइवेट कंपनीज फॉरेन कंपनीज पब्लिक कंपनीज नॉट फॉर प्रॉफिट कंपनीज नंबर टू the securities and exchange board of india 1992 and the securities exchange board of india listing the obligation and disclosure requirement regulations of 2009 for the companies listed on a stock exchange in india number 3 the foreign exchange management act 1999 and the regulations made there under in case of the foreign subsidiary number 4 The Reserve Bank of India Act 1934 and regulation made there under in case of a company is a non-banking financial company, which is one false among the four. Strike, make a hand. Anticipate. Sir, is it difficult, sir? Because we don't know we this much we did not read, sir. Answer is. Answer is. I think four, sir. Number one. feedback the company said 2013 and rules made there under for unlisted what i write here under unlisted right word but there i wrote under for listed but actually it is unlisted companies such as a private companies foreign companies public companies not for profit companies the other three are very much relevant to it because i removed un i made listed so that is not connected to that one so answer for this third question is number 1 there should be listed not unlisted not listed shall i proceed say yes yes sir got it fourth question what are the most common type of the companies in your jurisdiction following are the most common type of companies number 1 a private limited company under the companies act 2013 which can be incorporated with a zero capital number 2 a not for profit company is a private company limited by guarantee or the having no share capital within parenthesis under the companies act 2013 this structure is to is used mostly to promote the charitable objects corporate social responsibility within parenthesis csr related activities etc and number 3 a public company under the companies act 2013 which cannot be incorporated with the zero capital number 4 all of the above i think is third one sir is it third one wrong why because second one is wrong sir why because you are saying a not for profit a non profit organization i think so second one is wrong a private limited company see intentionally i made this question so that you will be confused all of the above answer is Is it all of the above answer? All of the above. No. A company under the Companies Act 2003, which cannot be incorporated with zero. I use it cannot. Actually, it is can be incorporated with the zero capital. See here, he given. Just you apply this one. See this one. It is a private company. Here, a public company under the Company Act 2000, which can be incorporated with zero capital. 
that is the thing which is not connected to it. Actually, I should say, which is a wrong, false statement. I should have to say, which is a false statement that is missing over there. But anyway, I am trying to make from the different angle, not the same angle like Companies Act, when it came into effect. Companies Act, when the president made the consent and the, what is the act number of the company act? These are the common things which you lent it, the technique. Now I need not to go through it, but still sometimes I'm asking it. Can you tell me at least subsidiary question? I already put it in the last that thing. What is the act number of the company act 2013? Subsidiary question. It is 18. Of course, I have given the last question. So let us see that fifth question. Registration of the company at 2013 to incorporate a company requires of which are as follows. Number one, identification of a suitable name. Number two, location of the registered office and directors. Number three, subscribers to the memorandum of association of the proposed company. Number four, all of the above. All of the above. I made All it very of the above, easy sir. because every time you will say none of the above, this thing, that thing. So I thought that you will make a mistake now here, but you did not make a mistake. And you give, you give a correct answer for that one. So the answer is all of the above is the answer because okay. identification and a suitable name it should be there. Location of the register, registered office and director should be very much clearly written. And subscriber to the memorandum of association of the proposed company should be made very clear. That means all of the above is the answer for the fifth question. The option is four. Okay, anyone can unmute and read. Sixth question. Anyone can unmute and read. Required for setting up here. Which one is correct? Public company two, private company three, one person company one, none of the above. One person one Third is correct, one. sir. Third one. Do you think that the one person, one company, what I asked? Which one is correct? Yes. Not correct. You are right. You are right. <laughs> Answer here, feedback is public company, three, private company, two, one person company, two. one. So our answer is three. third option. Which one is correct? Third option. Is it clear? Say yes. Is it clear? Yes. 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 Then yes. only I can proceed. Yes. Otherwise, I cannot proceed if I don't get the reply from your side. Seventh question. Every company must have at least one director who stays in India for a total period of not less than dash during the financial year. Number one, then 181 days. Number two, then 182 days. Number three, then 183 days. Number four, then 184 days. Not less than. So for, uh, among the four options, which option is the right option? Repeat. Because there is a break of voice. Our options are 183 days. The right answer is second option. Not less than 182 days. 182 days is the right answer. And second option for the seventh question. Next. Anyone can unmute and read? 
Anyone can unmute and read. Eighth question. <coughs> read. I think there is a the following uh, of companies must also appoint at least one woman. Every option one, every listed company. Option two, every other public company having every capital of 100, uh, 100 crore rupees or more, or turnover of 300 crore rupees or more. Uh, every listed company is required to have at least one third of the total number of directors as independent as independent directors and following companies is required to have at least two directors as independent directors. Option four, all of the above. Just use the logic, you could know the answer. I did not ask there which is false. I did not ask there which is right. I repeat, I did not ask in the parenthesis which is false. I did not ask within the parenthesis which is right. That means, that means, logic, apply the logic. The fourth one is the right answer. That means, okay. the fourth one is the right answer. So all of the above is right. Can you explain about this, sir? All of the above is right. Fourth option is right. Fourth option is right for the okay. option. Okay. okay, right. Use the logic. Okay. I did not ask you which is the false one. I did not ask you which is the right one. Of course, I can make you confused. Mm -hmm. Which is the right one? And you think that among one is right one and you will pinpoint it. It's two sir, three sir, you will say. But I did not intentionally kept it because I would like to know, do you know this technique also? And the technique is, I did not put which is false. I did not put which is right. That means everything is correct. Is it correct? The logic yes, is yes. quite good. Got it. I want to teach you the logic, reasoning. So that if you don't know the answer also, by using the logic and reasoning, you can shoot at the right option. Ninth question. Minimum number of shareholders required for the setting up of one of them is not correct. See, when I say one of them is not correct means other three are correct. Now you tell me. Number one option, public company is seven. First one is not correct, sir. First one. Yes, sir, first one is correct. Public company seven. Okay. Public company seven. Private company two. Public seven. Two. One person, one. Okay, sir. Three are correct. Which is not correct. No. All of the above is correct. <laughs> oh, sir. All of the above. Actually, I should say. Which one is not correct? No. Which one is correct? That is actually how to say. Which one is, which one? One of them is correct, I say. No. Which one is correct? Not one of them. Which one is correct? That is the correct answer. Which one is the correct answer? Not which one. All of them is the correct answer. Is it clear? All of them is the correct answer. Is it clear? Say yes. Say yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, tenth question. How shares may be offered in the following manner as provided under the Company Act 2013? Number one, to the general public by issuing the prospectus in case of a company is intending to list its securities on the stock exchange. Number two, to the selected group of persons by issuing a private placement offer letter generally opted by the private company to raise the further funds or 
Number three, to the existing shareholders by issuing the letter of offer rights issue, the fourth, all of the above. All of the above, sir. See, I don't know why I highlighted it. Because that if we highlighted it, that will give the sense to me that it is the right answer. Answer here is all of the above. Answer here is all of the above. Their shareholders in offer the following manner. That is the right answer. Can anyone unmute and read? 11th question. 11th question. 11th question, a company is generally required to comply with certain employment laws based on the nature of the activities, number of employees, type of products, etc. Following are some of the labor laws and regulations in India. One of them is not correct. Number one, Industrial Dispute Act 1947. Number two, Industrial Employment Standing Orders Act. Number three, Shops and Establishment Act for Workmen. Third one is correct, sir. Shops and Establishments Act. Yes, sir. Third one is correct. Not correct, I told. Which one is not relevant? Which is not relevant? Yes, sir. That. Labor laws and regulations. Industrial dispute act is there, sir. Yes. Industrial Dispute Act is there, connected. Industrial Employment Starting yes. Orders Act is connected. Shafts and Establishment Act is connected. Is it? Then what is not connected is Workman Compensation no, Act. Not connected is Workman Compensation Act. The answer for the 11th question is number 4, option, which is not correct. Not connected. Okay, next. Twelfth question. Following are some of the labor laws and regulations in India. Which one is correct? Yes. I said which one is correct? Number one. Sexual harassment of women at workplace within parenthesis prevention prohibition and redressal act of 2013 number 2 equal remuneration act 1976 number 3 minimum wages act 1948 number 4 all of the above option 3 yes minimum wages act 1948 which one is the option option 3 third option minimum wages act Fourth is the right answer. <laughs> I say which one is correct? Why? Because minimum wage is there. Yes, it is there. Just use Equal your logic. of That one comes. Vishaka versus Rajasthan, the state of yes, Rajasthan. That's why I don't know. Use your logic and see that which will be the correct answer. So twelfth question, right answer is all of the above because all three acts are applicable. Now let us see 13th question. Following are some of the labor laws and regulations in India. Which one is false? Number one, Payment of Bonus Act 1966. Number two, Payment of Wages Act 1936. Number three, Employees Compensation Act 1923. Four, Employees Provident Fund and Miscellaneous Provision Act of 1952. Fourth, sir. Wrong. Is it wrong? See the feedback. I intentionally made payment of bonus act from 1965. I turned into the 1966. Even that technique also examiner can do. So, which is wrong? False one, even though payment of bonus act is there. First one, sir. But uh, First one, sir. I wrote, but it should be 1965. And hence, the answer is, which is not connected or false, is payment of bonus act 1966. The feedback is payment of bonus act, it should be 1965. 
So such type of question can also be asked in the examination. 14th question. Following are some of the labor laws and regulation in which the one is correct. Number one, Employee State Insurance Act 1948. Number two, Maternity Benefit Act of 1961. Number three, Payment of Gratuity Act of 1972 are all of the above correct. Fourth, sir. All of the above acts is correct because I made confusion for the two times. I want to make the confusion here also, but you, you did not confuse and you give the right answer. Because I did not change even the year also here. That means the year compulsory one should have to know it also. Otherwise, they will make the change the year and think that whether you could know it or not, they will testify you by this way. So 15th question. Following are some of the labor laws regulations in India. Which one is not correct? Number one, Apprentice Act 1961. Number two, Child and Adult Labor Prohibition and Regulation Act 1986. Number three, Contract Labor Regulation and Abolition Act of 1970. And fourth, Environment Protection Act of 1986. Four, sir. Rang. Number one, sir. First one. Wrong. It is the second one. See, I removed adult scant. I did not put it there. I put adult. Child and adult labor, I put it over there. But actually, there should be Child and Adolescent Labor Prohibition Regulation Act of 1986. So, in this way also, they will make you confused. Instead of writing the adolescent, they will write the adult and they say which act is not connected to it. And at that instance, you should be very much thorough enough. Then the right answer for the 15th question is second. Is it clear? Say yes. Is it clear? Good. Now, 16th question. Anyone can unmute and read 16th question. It's a persons with disabilities act of dash year. First option 2014, second 2015, third 2016, fourth 2017. Make a chance. Shoot. 2014 sir, option one. No. Sir, I am going option. <laughs> option is 3, 2016. For 16th question, the option is, this is the option. 2016, there's the Rights of Persons with Disability Act of 2016 year. Now, 17th question, in India, Last pertaining to the social security benefits such as dash, which one is correct? Number one, employees provident fund gratuity. Number two, pension fund employment termination related loss. Number three, change in the condition of service employees at the most critical aspects of the hands highly regulated. Number four, all of the above. All of the above. All of the above is the right answer. Because I did not put any change here, nor I confused here. But I thought that you will be confused. But you know the right answer. That's why you know perfectly that there is no negative marks here. Because employees private fund is there and gratuity is there. Pension fund is there, employment termination related loss are there. Actually, I thought of termination. This I want to track the termination and want to say dismissal. I want to keep the dismissal. But later I thought, no, let us see that whether they could make it out or not. Otherwise, they would have to say dismissal related loss. At that instance, the right answer is two. So in this way also, I can manage it or an examiner can manage it. 18th question. CIRP full form is number one, insolvent resolution process. Number two, corporation 
corporation installment reservation process here the corporation i did not write here corporation installment resolution process number 2 corporation insolvency resolution process number 3 corporate insolvency resolution process number 4 corporate insolvency resolution procreation which one is the correct answer two see option two sir mm -hmm. answer is option two it is one and three right answer because corporate no not one and three only three is the right answer corporate insolvency resolution process is the right answer no corporation it is a corporate insolvency resolution process is the full form of the cirp that means option 3 is the answer for the 18th question is it clear yes sir very good 19th question which is correct one among the following the insolvency and bankruptcy act of 2016 the insolvency and bankruptcy code of 2015 the insolvency and bankruptcy code of 2014 are none of the above yes sir option 1 insolvency and bankruptcy act 2016 wrong See, use the technique. I did not use the none of the above in the above questions. I use all of the above. Only some places I use none of the above. Answer is none of the above. The right answer is the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code of 2016. That means the four option which I have given. none of them suit to this feedback and hence answer is fourth none of the above and the right answer feedback is the insolvency and bankruptcy code not act it is a code of 2016 okay now 20th question the insolvency and bankruptcy board of india is the dash body established under the code number 1 executory body number 2 executive body number 3 regulatory body number 4 enforcing body enforcing if i am not wrong it's enforcing no it not regulated okay. the exact word is executive no no executory regulatory body that is even though regulatory body will enforce it even though regulatory body execute it but we don't say executive body or executory body we will say regulatory body that is the appropriate word so the 20th question is regulatory body established under the code that is the answer next 21st question which statement below is correct there is no specific incentive for the foreign companies intending to set up business in india number 1 there is a specific incentive for the foreign companies intending to set up business in india number 2 there is no specific subsidy for the foreign companies intending to set up business in india number 3 there is no specific incentive for the abroad companies intending to set up business in india number 4 there is no specific incentive for the foreign companies intending to set up business in india which one is the right answer i gave the answer in the question itself why you are taking that much time to make it out 
I gave the answer in the question itself. What is the answer? Among the four, one, two, option, four. Option one. Among the one, two, four, which is the right answer? I gave the answer in the question itself. Option one. Option one. Option one is there is a specific incentive, but then there there is no specific incentive. I gave the answer in the question itself, and you say number one. Third sir, third. Third option. Wrong. Fourth one sir. Fourth you one. Just to, you you we compare it both the things. It is the fourth answer. It is the fourth answer. I gave. the answer in the question itself and again i changed it to see whether you can catch it or not but you did not catch it and you are saying number 1 sir i gave the hint also answer is in the question itself the right answer is option 4 okay say yes okay okay sir okay read the 22nd question unmute and read Which act does which act does focus on press data in digital format and provides a compensation to the victims in the case of unauthorized access and leakage of sensitive personal information? One, the Media Act; option two, the Newspaper Act; option three, the Information Technology Act; option four, the Broadcasting Act. The third one, sir. The third one is correct. The Information third Technology Act. Third one is correct. The Information Technology Act because. a digital I... form of the data or the leakage is a sensitive information and information itself is given over there the information technology act is the right answer for the question 22 now 23 the act provides the public punishment for the damaging the computer system without permission of the owner for equal person in charge of the computer system which includes within parenthesis which is not a false among the four which is not false among the four now you check it what is exactly the thing which is not false among the four means other three are right or other three are false number 1 entirely uploading the information number 2 installing the virus number 3 tampering number 4 manipulation of data installing a no 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 what is the question sir question is the act provides for the punishment for damaging the computer system without the permission of the owner public person in charge of the computer system which includes there are three are relevant but one is not relevant number 1 what is the mistake number 1 sir what is the mistake there what is the actually why is this when you say Why you say number one? Give me the reason. Give me the reason. Uploading of information doesn't uh, may not cause much loss. Whereas what manipulation exact, of data tampering. What would be the exact uh, what yes. should be there? What would yes, sir. Exact Installing the virus files the system. That am uh, damages the system. tampering also damages the system manipulation of data yes, also I, i agree with your question the... i agreed your answer i accepted yes, your answer but what wording i changed it there you tell me manipulating information maybe no downloading <laughs> internally no, i am not uploading downloading of information it is not uploading of information it is downloading the information and hence that is not connected with that one is it sir even that is also wrong sir 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 either uploading or downloading both are uh, uh, you cannot trace it out you cannot trace it out who uploaded the information uh. you cannot trace it out who uploaded the information pornography is there but till today nobody is found who is uploading the 
pornography. Okay, sir. So it is the internet you are downloading the information is the relevant factor. Yes, 24th question. Who approves the merger of companies in India? The existing law requires that the scheme for the merger and or any arrangement should be approved by dash. One is not connected to it, but three are connected. Number one, a majority in the number representing also. Number two, a three fourth in value of the shareholders or creditors. Number three, half second, one and a half, not one and a half, half in value of the shareholders, creditors for present and voting the shareholders. One is not relevant. Number three. Number three, there is a three and a fourth is there, but not half is there. Nor one and a half is there. So that is not connected, but the other three are connected to even for the merger. Now they can ask the supplementary question. Which bank is merged in the Union Bank of India? No, one more bank is there in yes. addition to Andhra Bank. Yes, sir. Corporation Bank and maybe another bank. Three banks, I think. No, only Syndicate two banks. Bank, sir. I Corporation think... also was there. No, no, only two banks are merged under the Union Bank of India. Then the Corporation and Andhra Bank, that I am sure. Yeah, that sir, is Vijaya true. Bank and Andhra Bank. Then which bank is merged in the Kenra Bank? Syndicate Bank, sir. Huh? Syndicate, Syndicate bank. bank. Yeah, no, another bank also there. You check it because they may ask the merger also. Achha, earlier, how many banks are there? Punjab how many banks are here? Supplementary question. Please concentrate on that point. Who made company law? Number one, Baba committee. Number two, Bahaba committee. Number three, company law committee. Number four, Number two and number three, correct. Number four. Number four, I give the hint to you. <laughs> Baba Committee also be known as the Company Law Committee. This act was formed with the Baba Committee, popularly known as the Company Law Committee, which submitted the report over it in March 1952. Supplementary question, when they have come submitted the it supplementary course in March 1952. The act was the lengthiest piece of legislation ever found in the Indian Parliament. All the amendments were made one by one and consisted of the 15 schedules and 658 sections. Supplementary question they may ask in this way also. So that's why I give the feedback. What type of law is company law? Or it is also known as dash. One of is not relevant. That is the odd man out. Number one. Industries law, number two, corporate law, number three, business law, number four, enterprise law. Business law, sir. Wrong. Corporate law. Wrong. <laughs> Only enterprise law, sir. Entrepreneur law. law. No. Fourth one. Enter enterprise law. So what is now? Hard man. Hard man is industry. Fourth one, sir. Law. Industry law. industry law. We say carpet law, we say business law, we say enterprise law, but we don't say industries law. Uh, we thought what is right. Eh? It is uh, you are Adman asking out. what is wrong. It's uh, Adman out. Carpet law, also known as a business law or enterprise law or sometimes company law, is a body of law governing the right relations and conduct of the persons, companies, organization, and business. Supplementary questions. What are the company law covers? What the company law governs, and they will give the options. The company law governs the right relations and conduct of the person, companies, organization, and business. The term refers to the legal practice of the law relating to the corporations or the theory of corporations. The supplementary question they may be asked in this way also. Number 27th question The Companies Act 2013, Act Number of Dash 16, 17, 18, 19. 18. I already told you that at the time. They may ask you in this way also. Now you are trained. Whenever you see the act, please read the act number also because probability would be there that may be asked at the time. Even one mark also make the difference. Am I right? Yes, sir. Good. Now, supplementary question. What does Company Act 213 says? 
Suppose you say, what actually the company ad says? Anyone? The company ad receives the assent of the parliament and the president, they may ask supplementary question like this also. When the assent of the president, it is on the August 29, 2013 and was notified in the gadget supplementary question, 30th August 2013. The Companies Act 2013 introduced a what actually says it introduced the new concepts supporting the enhanced disclosure, accountability, better board governance, better facilitation of business and so on. Supplementary question, what the company law actually says or what the company law actually governs or what is the company law actually concepts at that instance that you are supposed to write the supporting enhanced disclosure, accountability, better board governance, better facilitation of business and so on. So supplementary questions they may ask in that way also. So that is the way that you have to make it out. Before the company law, 2013, supplementary question, which company law replaced by the company act of 2013? Supplementary question. What was the earlier law? 2009, sir. Please check it, whether it is true. Is it 2009? Earlier, before the company law has emerged over there. So they may ask the question in that manner also. So what I want to say is, here, how many chapters are there in the company law? How many schedules are there in the company law? How many sections are there in the company law? 29 chapters for the insolvency. So supplementary question they may ask and how many parts are there? And where the public offer is mentioned in the company law? So they may test in any angle but I wish that there should be a minus parts would be there. Only people in 100, 200 are the most, not more than 1000 will be passed in this uh, or qualify in this uh, All India Bar Examination. You should be very much thankful there would not be any minus marks. If the minus marks are there, I am sure it will not cross more than 1000 in the entire India. At the most 2000. Even 2000 also big figure I told. Because he can ask the question from any corner. The person who is having the software from any angle to frame the questions, he could directly shoot even though he doesn't know the answer. Like I have given the clue to you how many schedules are there. And here they have shown the schedule. And they may ask also whether schedule can be written in your Roman number, in your Roman small, in a capital Roman or in the Arabic numbers. Answer is, answer is, answer is, did you understand my question? Schedule will be written either a small Roman number, capital Roman number or Arabic numbers are none of the above or all of the above. Your answer is? Capital Roman. Capital Roman, why you are taking this much time to say? It is a capital Roman numbers, you have to make it out. So that is the style of writing. So they may ask it any point of view, anything, and uh, that is the thing which I want to share with you. And another point is, the next class, I think now it can be stopped at any time because time is up. What is the next? What is the next subject tomorrow? Break voice. Any other person? Please say. Krishna Yadav, I could not hear you. Perhaps there is a problem of uh, internet, it seems. Tomorrow class is? Can you hear me, sir, now? 
Okay. Environmental law. Environmental law, that is the 12th one. So be ready and read it and come to the class. Let the class, the participatory class, rather than the sermon class. That is my intention. Even though you can shoot it after my reading the fourth option, even though it is wrong, but applying my software which I developed to you and the way that I made the techniques of it, I have the way that I made the question framing would be there. So this technique which you should learn it, and I'm sure that you can fish in any water, including the troubled water. Is it clear? Yes, sir. I am not yeah. cutting and pasting and I am giving the multiple choice questions to you. I myself will read and make of my own way the multiple choice and I will see that in all the way my students should have know the technique of fishing in the troubled water also. The technique I am showing to you, the way the question will be framed, the way it will be done. And even they can change the year sir, also. Sir, uh, how much questions you can expect, sir? It is already there in the, in the 40 okay, the qualifying marks. Yes, sir. From, I think, I think from, your, from your material, how many questions you can expect, sir? Oh, I cannot say. See, I, I don't have that much yes, clairvoyance to see how many questions from my type. But I told you to how to fish, the technique of fishing. See, you can fish in this way, you can fish in this way, you can do in this way. Yes, sir, we got the technique, sir. But approximately. See, I cannot so say many that, uh, can it's not necessarily no, yes, sir. that uh, you should have my angle. You should have my, it is you, you have to decide it, whether how much could. But a uh, question, it may be any form, doesn't matter. But I am yes. giving the technique to you to shoot the right answer. Are you following? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Take this over. Yeah. I am giving you the techniques. Yes, sir. Even though you don't know the answer, but using my technique, you can shoot the right answer. I can challenge it. And your anticipation is the right anticipation and is the correct way. Is okay. that angle I am giving the lectures to you? Yes, sir. Got it, sir. Yes. Even though you don't know the answer, by looking at the four options, you can frame it because already the software is in your, in your mind. The software read it and yes. exactly it shoots the bull's eye. Means right answer. Yes. Here bull's eye means right answer. Is it clear? Okay. Yes, sir. So now it will stop at any time. So before it could stop, let me take the leave from you because what I exhausted and if you want to ask anything, you can ask. But don't ask, sir, when will be the exam? <laughs> <laughs> exam may Sir, uh, uh, can we? Yes. Sir, one question, sir. Can we get a PDF, sir? A PDF uh, documents, the material which you are preparing. Can we I shown everything on the screen. Yes, sir. That is like uh, that is a video, sir, which you are uh, uploading uh, for the class. Then why you, the need, why you need? Why need again the document? See, no, sir. Not we can any the and we can go through it. Right? You cannot do it. You okay. cannot do it except participating in my class. You cannot learn anything. Okay. I'm giving the the straight answer. You cannot learn anything if you read it. You can learn anything by participating yes. it because your hunch, your shooting, my explanation, my feedback, it will reel you in the examination hall. Yes, sir. But if you say that, sir, provide, there are a lot of material would be there. There are a lot of books are there, but you cannot remember it unless until you make a, a question and answer session. You make a, a debate, you make a discussion. And we make explanation and one person will read and an okay. option will be read then you can shoot it by you're using your own intelligentsia after reading it but if you read if you yes. go on reading it and see the answer yes it will help only to 20 to 30 percent
जन गन मन अधिनायक जया है भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड कल बंगा विंध हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जल तरंगा तब शुभ नाम जागे तब शुभ आशीष मांगे गाहे तब जय गाथा जन गन मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हिंद सारे जहां से अच्छा हिंदुस्तान हमारा